gonna be this split push. And we actually see Mafia already postured most of the rotations going over towards a instinct. Just getting onto the site, but Dim Sumbo is able to take down two here. Helping out. It is a 3v4 scenario here for Mafia, so Mafia does have that upper hand, but it seems like already the aggression is coming out from Screwface and Renz around the corner with 22 health. Maybe being able to take out Dynamic here, but as it is, Dynamic's gonna pull. A little bit of a leg breaker, and boys is trying to peek around the corner, try to get a pick at least, but instinct, having those instincts that someone's gonna be able to peek out of robes, and right there it is, that raise util that we've been wanting to see some damage being taken down, although poise is gonna be placed right now, it does seem like one enemy remaining, and C9 Academy is gonna get their first win, I'm going to be able to get a pick through with that operator, some of that util is gonna be blocking, but poise is gonna smokes. Oh, they do still have Viper, but you can't really come out to clear elbow. Gonna be pushing somebody out. The I am so surprised to see Dynamic <laughs> take that peek with the Operator out, of, out to Raptors there. Ooh, oh, exactly where the opposing player was, but right now Dynamic's about to do another aggressive peek. I don't know if it's gonna work out the classic and the running gun by Instinct. Oh my, Instinct is truly just going off Instinct right now. I, I feel like it's like watching a- watch a- You know, this default. Back again. Poise, though, is going to get that opening pick on Dynamic, and it is it is an eco round, though, for C9 Academy. Just keep that in mind, folks. Dynamic is not in a good position, but uh, it seems like Janitor's going to be able to get one with that shotgun. I don't know how much they... The angle that I believe Ooh. Jerk has a man. You know that is one push, Ooh. and Janitor's just cleaning up with the judge right now. In Poise's hands. Ooh. Oh, oh Jano is in a really bad position for Mafia. That Viper's Pit coming out to contest to be heaven, be able to take sight here, forcing Wubby to back off the stairs, play retake with their team. But Dim Sum Boy and one other on Mafia are still poised on the B site right now. We do have Dynamic trying to get a flank around on Chamber, but that utility is just surrounding it right now. C9 Glyph is going to be able to get two down. Wubby's trying their best to be able to... Dynamic's definitely capable of getting this retake down. ...did go for this mm -hmm. loop around, but they have made the read. They're posted up for that double peek there, and Poise is in Screwface, who is, you know, posted up. They may not already oh, able to get one. 5v4 situation now, Gompers. Dynamic is an aggressive peeker, although it works out in the end. Oh. Instinct, though, is going to be able to touch W. The stupid peek is working out just fine, but that resurrection is coming through. Raise you till being able to at least get some damage in. But right now, we do have oh. C9 Academy at a disadvantage for the players here, Ash. That indeed stuck. And, oh, actually, Poise has that house sight. Uh, this sight control might just be able to help out. I mean... 16 seconds just being able to cancel that spike plane is going to be huge and right oh! now Insom is going to be able to get that 2k to close Locking off a main as well and just a lot of options gonna go out mid Janitor's gonna clean up with a one but poise is there to reply with a trade 4v4 situation already Oh, <laughs> Just the classic from Glyph Glyph has been getting some really nice shots through Yeah being able to get those picks down is definitely a huge, huge play, but the United Academy does have that player advantage, and right now Glyph is just going to be proving my point even further. Previous round that we saw. Ooh. Tying it up closer and closer. Operator. Right now, though, uh, Dimsum's getting pretty aggressive, but Dynamic's just going to be better taking out Instinct. And a wide swing coming out from Dimsum, boy, that's going to be able to get one, leaving this 4v3 already trying to... Aggress onto a site, some utils coming through, but not a lot, not enough, and <sighs> this plant out right now, that Astro Gravity Well is just gonna miss, and Dynamic, <laughs> with the quick scopes on the Operator, is just annihilating right now, Ooh. but, Jerk, with that, uh, that can go up and down and just deny, um, areas, and there's just gonna be a lot of action coming out in the main. They lose their player, they back off, and they always have Screwface being that lure out, and that Seeker's trying to at least get that stun through, but C9 Instinct is walking around trying to at least find Janitor. Is it going to be enough? It is not! That's gonna leave Janitor with one! <laughs> Screwface is playing it safe, especially in the smokes. Right now, gonna be able to get one, but what? Wait, 
wait a second! We managed to get those two picks off, and Poise is just going to be pushing in aggressively onto A site. And this crossfire is going to take down C9 Instinct. Spike on A site as well, and no entry power really left from C9 Academy right now. Ooh. Yeah, I really like that. I, I think the, you know, one of the problems here that right now, but there's going to be a lot of fighting for mid control here. This paint shell is going to do a lot of damage on dynamic and poise. It's just going to get that early pick off with the headhunter. Ugh. It's a classic showdown here. Right now, we do see Dim Sum Boy versus C9 Instinct, but Dim Sum's just going to win some. That's going to lead to that end. <laughs> <laughs> just die, but Poise is just going to get the I think some's on a roll here. What? Into CT as well. Probably hunting for the potential ace that they could put under their belt. But we'll be met with two here. Able to get one a clean headshot off of Ren's 4k for Dim Sum Boy. Glyph, though, here to clutch it out in this 1v3. Oh, we know how good Glyph is. That's going to be one. That's going to be two. Oh, that's a 3k coming down right now. C9. Academy has to be able to win this Blue round. Heaven. That's going to allow them to be able to buy next round. And right now, oh, <laughs> Jerk is going to have a really nice counter strike. Pretty aggressive push onto the A site. Dynamic already taking that. Having control. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> now we're going to get 3k. I'm liking the aggression. You know, this is what C9 Academy so Mafia has those specters. But generally, I mean, you're, you can see... Dynamic really just likes to play these mind games with all the sound cues. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. I like, you know, the smokes coming through. I like everything Dynamic's doing. The utility usage there is. You, you, you can see the diversity of how you can use your utility, but right there it does seem like it's just going to be an aggression oh! from Wubby. That's just going to leave for 30 seconds left. That spike has to be planted pretty soon. And that Wubby's just on a roll. That's going to leave Screwface by themselves. And having, you know, some of their util down, they could possibly use that... That maybe that snake fight to planted. try to get some damage through. Some really good triggers right here. Screw face. Able to clutch out that 1v1. The 1v1 situation. Oh! No! Not the knife! No way! You hate to if instead. It's I mean it's a hundred IQ. When you have a jet dashing at you like that, it's not that unlikely. But Dynamics just can have that explosive entry onto the beat site already, once again. And everyone at C9 Academy is just dropping like flies. I really like, you know, the dynamic dynamic has going. I mean, being able, just entering with the classic in general was, was something you don't see every day, especially when you have a vandal in your hand, but Janitor is just going to be aggressing through and mop. Third right here. Turn these into 1v1 situations, and oh, it's going to walk into that three-person peak. Lose that gun, and it is match point now. Match point. I, I think one of the hardest things that you can talk about here is, is just the fact that C9 Academy just does not have any of the Sentinels that could really help with the aggression onto site. I mean, you do have Chamber, but you also have Jet. You have Dynamic on the other side who literally just dashes it, but there's nothing you can really do except for try to get aggressive here, which is exactly what Poise is going to be doing, Ash. <sighs> It's just not, it's not looking good. Oh, I mean, already. No! <laughs> what do you do in this situation? It is literally, I feel like, for C9 Academy, but I don't exactly know how well it's going to work out, especially with Killjoy being that sentinel that Poise is already waiting around the corner, going to be able to get three, no way! Four! For Poise in the beginning of the rounds, it's just close. though? Uh, just because it really does show that Mafia is reading very well into the movement that C9 Academy might be doing here. But, I mean, as we know it, Dynamic is going to be pushing straight through. And this retake definitely might not be easy, but Dynamic is just running in already. Going to be able to get a couple here. That's just going to be leaving Poise all by their lonesome getting that flank in. I mean, they possibly might already know, especially since that alarm bot gave off the location. But might just be able to get a couple here for Poise. We are seeing this ping though over towards Garage, but make some noise too long here. Not able to quite get that last frag down janitor and whatnot, but it's gonna be a straightforward C hit this time around. Ooh, already. I mean, I think something we could have talked about a little bit is that Mafia being that really aggressive blitz kind of attack. Uh and dynamic is hunting though. You know, four four frag, but push in. Mm. 
janitor is trying to get some information through. I think at least get a dart through. Recon is gonna tag janitor with the or sorry, the owl drone is gonna tag janitor, pushing them off of sight here, but I mean C9 Academy still has this gun disadvantage with this uh, spy here, but screw face is gonna be good for that first kill. 2v5 situation. Oh, <laughs> yeah, not a lot you can do here. Jerk is trying to at least hold off some of that time, but yeah, it, it's just a folk util to at least get something through is going to help, but already, I mean, Screwface being able to get that first initial pick is going to be leading into the take on to site for C9 Academy. And right now, multiple players just being dominated as they go. It is not looking good right now for Mafia. They have to be able to switch something up because right now they're playing very typical and and they're just kind of they're not using that util to the best of their ability. Maybe having would will likely work out quite a bit better for Mafia, but C9 Academy is really finding their groove on the defense this time around. And the Hunter Siri is gonna come out to push those players out of cubby. Ooh, that's some really good damage from Instinct. <laughs> Dynamic's just coming in with a classic. I love the classic play from Dynamic, but right now that lockdown is not going to be loving anybody on C9 Academy as much. It is looking like a lot of vandals are being given, but Spike Instinct down. is just C. really, really closing it down before that lockdown comes through. And I like that. A lot of people think you have to back off when the lockdown comes down, but as you can Spike see, planted. I mean, Instinct already going in trying to get those picks off. Leading for that really strong retake, it's working out pretty well here. One enemy remaining. 2v1 situation. One enemy remaining. Dim Sum Boy is able to get that 1v1. Oh! Oh! oh. Screwface is screwing up the face of Dim Sum. And pretty early on as far as where Mafia is planning on pushing here and... Oh! A little bit of a slow creep up onto A here. Jenner able to get that refrag, creating a glyph. It's a 3v4 situation, but Spike has yet to be planted. We're going to see the shock dart lineups coming out, but they're not quite going to connect. Ugh. Spike planted. That Spike is going to be planted. Right now, Wubby and Jenner can hold a really mean crossbow here. And I mean, that util's already coming in. That Seekers isn't really going to get much information. With it being closed off in the choke point, that's just going to leave Janitor in a really good angle here. Possibly going to be able to get two, and that's just going to work out just great. Mafia being able to close this round off really nice. And C9 Academy will be taking this map, or this half with the advantage. A lot of frags going out. Dynamic is going to get that first pick. In short. Oh, oh, no. I like the double operator. C9 Academy had a double operator, uh, you know, before that they were working. But right now, it does seem like Screwface is just that operator player. Uh, I find it interesting. The lockdown came down from off you, but they're not going to aggress off that. They're, they're just going to rotate on to the opposite site. But, I mean, you're going to rotate. Everybody on C9 Academy is going to know that that's coming through already. I mean, it's going to be literally the same thing that you had on A site coming over to C. And it's going to be just as hard. 4v2 now. It's going to be a hard retake for... Oh, and... Poise is going to fall just like that. Able to take one down for themselves, but 3v1 Screwface Operator in hand might elect for Egg just to or go off. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what's... Of a Dame duel. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of util actually thrown, putting some poke on Dynamic. It's a 5v5 for this retake situation. Trailblazers clearing out Garage, clearing out Grass for some info, but Poise only has one knife left in their, in their arsenal. Shock dart coming through, trying to get some damage, but a spray through down in garage and alert from Dim Sum. It's going to be working out really, really nicely for Mafia. They're going to be able to close this out five to five, especially in these rounds. Save coming through. I, I think, you know, maybe the operator's kind of remaining, not helping out C9 as much. I mean, we're seeing a lot of in situation here, but Screwface is going to be left with the headhunter here, not able to connect. Though, and dynamic so aggressive getting on site. <laughs> oh, and it was a jet on jet battle, but boys is gonna be able to win it right there. And look, a little flank coming through. That's gonna leave two for janitor. It is a three v two though. I don't know how well Moppy is gonna be able to hold the site, but possibly. You know, there's not a lot of util to be working off of here though, Ash. 
No, but I don't think C9 Academy knows that Mafia is still on site here. Yeah. Oh, but with that sound cue, Webby is going to try and get that Spike plant planted. down. Rotation is going to come through Garage instead of going through C-Link there, but they're going to hear this drop. Ahead. The information is coming through, but that's just going to leave Dim Sum all by their lonesome. Uh, not a lot you can do there. Lose Sex always feeling hungry with the aggressive Spike pushes that are coming, but Screwface is anticipating Dim Sum to be lurking around Brass once again, but hiding in Cubby this time around. Ooh. I like the aggression coming through from Dynamic, but the operator in the face is definitely not going to feel good. Seeker's coming through, and that's just going to lead to a massacre for C9 White here. Mafia is going to be able to take this through. It is sick. Maybe get a pick or two. Ooh. And right there, we're seeing an iteration of poise in Dynamic. Dynamic's getting aggressive off the get-go on the defense. I, I do like... I feel like the switch is definitely going to be helpful for both sides, just simply because of the chamber coming out from Screwface. That might be able to help with aggression coming onto site, getting those picks and then TPing out. But, I mean, right here, Dim Sum's trying to at least get some damage through. The damage is done, but Jerk, not knowing that that aggression is coming through, and right there, Rubby is going to be able to take three in this pistol round. Screwface with the headhunter. It's coming down. That corner is not being peaked. I don't know how well this is going to work out. And, I mean, gets into that coordination in, but, I mean, right there coming through that gravity well is going to be able to help. C9, of course, getting one, but it's a massacre coming down. C9 Academy cannot be able to hold this through, and Glyph is just going to be taken down by Dynamic. Six to that alt orb anymore, and Trailblazer is going to clear out short in a quick rotation being called over. Oh, Wubby knew that Poise was coming through with that dash, and I like what Poise was doing, getting that aggression onto site, but it seems like it's just not gonna work. Of course, Mafia having other oh! angles, but Screwface getting the two picks needed, and right now that's gonna leave for some time, one minute on the board to be able to get that spike down. Screwface is not playing around right now. I, I like the utility drop here, Ash, being able to get that utility down to play for that post plan here. At first, I was kind of wondering if Screwface was just taking too much time, you know, giving the opportunity to have that rotation come in to get pushed. But able to rendezvous away, we're actually going to see that twirl to false as well. No oh. risks are going to be taken, but Jerk is going to close out the round. Another, every other round, saving every other round, and... It's going to be hard uh, getting this retake through, but this is what we wanted to see from Mafia in the previous rounds when they were on the attack. We wanted to see them hold the side of B, knowing exactly how hard it is, but I mean right now, Janitor is just going to be cleaning it up like the Janitor they are, mopping the floors with poise. And Seekers is coming up, getting some information through. I mean, now, given that Seekers, they do know that majority of the players are surrounding themselves around outside of B. Holding themselves down mid, but Screwface with the Operator just going to be able to hold everything extremely well, getting that 3k down and C9 Academy. Brass position's a little bit longer, but ultimately it's not that necessary in poise with that updraft A lobby. I don't know about the aggression onto site, but I, I like how C9 Academy know, you know how to play their rounds to be able to at least isolate sites so they can push through and have Screwface have that advantage, especially in the post plant coming out here. But now that this Cosmic Divide is coming up, it's just going to be 10 times harder for the side of Mafia. Oh! Nice oh. shot from Screwface. Oh, the Glyph is just hiding. How you're able to get one and just a... They either pan out or they don't, they don't get too much. I... Oh. oh! Dynamic there to respond to Poise, though. It's going to take down their double, but... I, don't, I just don't like wasting the Jet Dash that early. I, I mean, yeah, I I guess One it was good intention to at least try to get out and, for, you know, avoid a trade or something. And oh! then so just going to be able to get this 4k straight. Really, to him, one by one, and we see that aggressive dash once again onto site. Hunter's Fury is going to distract oh Jerk, and everybody's just going to be falling across site. It's a 4v3 situation like that, but Screwface, ready for that flank, is going to take out Dynamic. I think it's become very, very known, especially to C9 Academy, that Dynamic tends to have that, you know, flank, and that will come around, but I mean, already Wubby 
It was looking like Webby might just be taken down, but that 30 spike health is planted. not looking too good. That spike being planted, it's not going to allow Mafia to be able to get this win down. The post plant was if, you know, Mafia will play these retakes together, oh. as opposed to kind of just trying to stave them off one by Come one. That, that flank was very well done on the side of C9 Academy, and they're going to have some really great timing too, I believe, especially if they move through B site, but no more flanks are going to come out, and it looks like all four of Mafia are going to be on site right now, but this lockdown. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I really like the retake that Mafia was planning to do, especially, I mean, ugh, it's just going down. I, I like the retake that Mafia was planning to do. But he is also the easiest site for the defenders to retake. We're seeing a lot of aggression pushing into a link here, trying to get these frags off, but a lot of damage being done by utility as well, and C9 Academy sitting at match point here, 12 to 11 might just give Mafia this opportunity to tie things up, and that rendezvous is gonna come out, Screwface still playing their life a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you heard it there. Chamber's enjoying it. Has three to first, <gasps> and that's gonna be another one coming through. I, I think it's playing out really nicely here. That information is given. Oh, and, and there it is, another one. Wubby does know that Screwface is going to be peeking right around this corner, and I'm a little bit scared to see what's gonna be happening. This hole is being held. Oh, and, and I mean, I, a white swing here would be fantastic from Wubby, right, but waiting, right. waiting for that second player to be coming around the corner is going to be huge, and that doubles peak is just going to be leading from Mafia. Oh, I'm, I mean, right now, whoever wins this definitely has the advantage, but if C9 Academy wins this, it might just go over to them, especially knowing how good they are on the attack. Mafia, though, they do tend to please on the defense, as they did kind of push through a little bit. Uh, it is attacker sided though, as we discuss, and it kind of shows. I mean, C9 Academy getting that retake down on the attack, it just shows how hard it is to be able to get this A site down. But you do see some util trying to be used here for some information. Astra util trying to dismember the team, maybe just a little bit, but C9 Academy is going to be pushing through with this gravity well, and I don't know how well it's going to work out. It does seem like C9 is at least be able to close this off in a 1v1 scenario. Renz does have 10 bullets in their weaponry. Him some. Close. Um, to be trying to get this B plant down. That shock dart almost hit poise there and it would have at least taken out that that plant. Oh, but right there, Jerk's gonna be able to get one. That reposition has to come through, but I don't know how, how smart it is to be able to pull down and get into that astral form in a scenario where you know people are shooting at you. It, 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 it's it was one of those pressure moments, but I mean, we already see that retake coming through. Gonna be able to get one dim sum! This flank is gonna be huge, though. Oh, and it's just closing it out. C9 Academy in the other side. Oh, it's short. But, you know, Screwface is gonna get that opio on the A site. Screwface is holding this with an operator, although that flash is coming through. Not being able to buy that shield is going to be very good for screw not uh, for mafia but i don't know how well it's going to be for screw face gonna be able to get one that tp coming through well 30 seconds left spike is going to be planted janitor's just completely I've got your just plowing through everybody seekers going to be able to give that information ash it is looking pretty scary with this flank coming along for lobby that's gonna be two two really nice picks this is unlosable. If Mafia can play this extremely well holding these crossholds, or at least holding something, that can work out. Yeah, right there. Janitor's gonna be closing this off with the 3k. It be able to bring Match this back point. with the defense. Mafia does so well with their flanks and just getting the timing off with the communication that they receive from both ends. It's just very phenomenally done. I mean, we saw the sending by themselves, but a quick rotation has been called over already. Oh, right there, there's gonna be, it's just gonna be an annihilation from Mafia, and honestly, Ash, this is what they needed. They were able to hold that site, getting the masses just destroyed on C9 Academy, and that's just gonna lead to the victory for Mafia. That is what they needed! They 